The Palestinian national team may not be playing at the World Cup, but Palestine is winning big. And for Palestinians, that's a pretty big deal. I just kept hearing and you're talking about thousands of people chanting. It was an incredible feeling to see all those people like really chanting from all their heart for Palestine. As thousands of football fans flood Qatar for the first ever World Cup in the Middle East, Palestine has been stealing the show. <laughs> With almost daily displays of solidarity, from waving flags to unveiling free Palestine banners and even pitch invading. <laughs> This is the first time we see Palestine take center stage in such a global tournament. It's actually a great feeling because we feel visible, we feel seen. For Israeli reporters, it hasn't been quite the warm welcome they had expected. Despite Israeli normalization deals, many Arab fans have rejected the presence of Israeli media, disrupting their broadcasts, and outright refusing to talk to Israeli TV channels. But we have peace, huh? It was a wake-up call to the Israelis that whatever delusions they believed they had succeeded in making through the Abraham Accords, in fact, they are still not welcome in the Arab world. The people do not forget occupation, the people do not forget apartheid, and same with international fans from all over. 